Imagine a world where thoughts can be shared effortlessly. In January 2024, Elon Musk's Neuralink team implanted the first ever telepathy chip into a human brain. Now the question is, are we at the beginning of a new time of human connection, or are we treading in unknown ethical territory? The device implantation has been the starting point in a six-year clinical trial. Neuralink published in 2023, testing how well it performs with individuals with quadriplegia as a result of a spinal cord injury, or ALS, also called Lou Gehrig's disease. The idea is to capture the neural signals that move the limbs and bypass the damaged area in the brain, then retransmit the signals back into the limbs so the patient can move again. On the 20th of March, 2024, the company held a live stream showing the patient streaming online chess on a laptop, zooming the cursor with the help of the brain chip. In a brief X live stream, the man, Noland Arbaugh, said that he can play chess online and video games like Civilization through his Neuralink. Arbaugh was severely injured in a diving accident and became a quadriplegic. I would say it was similar to using the force over the cursor, said Arbog. Arbaugh said he concentrated on imagining his paralyzed hand was moving in a particular direction. Initially, his brain signals were not precisely interpreted and sent by the implant to the cursor, but after a couple of attempts, the signals were correctly received and the cursor moved accordingly on the chessboard. This is a major step in the technological field. How does the implant work? According to Neuralink's website, the first coin-sized implant called N1 is recording neural activity through 10,024 electrodes that are placed upon 64 threads on the surface of the user's brain. They are so incredibly small that a robotic surgeon called R1 is required to do the installation. The telepathy unit is roughly coin size, though much thicker, and fits inside a hole bored in a patient's skull. The implant, which only has a tiny battery that is charged through the use of an inductance charger, can communicate wirelessly via the smartphone app. During the procedure, the sewing robot gets a small part of the skull away, connects the electrodes to certain areas of the brain, sews up the hole, and the only visible scar left behind will be the little cut. According to Elon Musk, the process takes 30 minutes only, it is local, patients do not require general anesthesia, and they will be able to go home on the same day. In the live stream video, Arbaugh mentioned that he was discharged from the hospital the next day after the implant operation and said that the surgery was a basic procedure for him. Neuralink's journey. Neuralink, one of the companies co-founded by billionaire Elon Musk in 2016, is working on a way to translate brain movements into computer signals. The company started with a goal that paralyzed people can control a cursor or keyboard with just their thoughts, which means they don't need to move their bodies to do so. In early 2021, the company posted a video demonstrating its technology in use, which shortly went viral. The video shows a macaque monkey playing the classic game of Pong and doing quite well. The monkey with Neuralink hardware built into his brain is playing the game using nothing but his thoughts, hence called Mind Pong. Neuralink got the approval from the US Food and Drug Administration to run the medical tests in 2023, but Musk has higher ambitions in mind. He envisions a device that works like a generalized input-output device that can interface with anywhere in the brain. Musk hopes that after controlling limb movement, the Neuralink will be able to help the blind to see by sending signals to the cortex region of the brain. This is as futuristic an idea of sci-fi as our modern-day computers can accommodate. Prior to the Neuralink, Musk had suggested sending messages directly to another person's brain, which he called consensual telepathy in his 2017 speech. He explained his ultimate objective in an interview. I don't think it is appropriate to wait for AI to develop intelligence superior to ours, not least because we can already establish a full brain machine interface where we can achieve a sort of symbiosis with AI, Musk said. Kip Ludwig, the previous leading scientist for neural engineering at the US National Institutes of Health, argued that what Neuralink demonstrated was not a real breakthrough. We are only at the very initial phase post-implantation, hence there is a lot of learning on both sides, Neuralink company, and the subject to achieve the maximum amount of data for the control, he said. In spite of this, Ludwig had a positive outlook stating that the fact that the patient was able to communicate with the computer at all was a great change in their life. Some people consider Neuralink's a great technological innovation in medicine, but Neuralink has not come without controversies. 
First of all, we cannot expect numerous major upgrades anytime soon. Neuralink is likely to receive approval for small medical trials with patients who show no signs of improvement. In addition to establishing technology and obtaining medical approvals, ethical and social obstacles to adoption are also major issues. Another obstacle is people's hesitance. The telepathic Neuralink technology is awesome, but no matter how much you want to deny it, implantation of the device means that you are replacing part of your skull with that device, and the process of implantation is far more serious than a dentist drilling a cavity. Neuralink is also dealing with infections and implant attachment screws coming loose from the tests on monkeys, which faced criticism from animal rights activists. Last month, it was exclusively revealed that the business is sheltering thousands of animals for the tech, which is tested as the staffers are drilling holes into monkeys' heads and then gluing them. Shockingly, the documents had confirmed that monkeys had skull operations up to 10 times and were then put down. Autopsy reports revealed that monkeys had limb amputations and were downed after exerting a lot of emesis and diarrhea. To sum it up, Neuralink has killed about 1,500 rats, also sheep and pigs, in the process of testing the tech. Arbaugh also admitted at the end of the demonstration clip that his Neuralink implant was not perfect and has run into some issues. But he is still hopeful. I don't want anyone to think that this is the end of the journey. There's still a lot of work to be done, he said. What is the future for Neuralink? In the vision of Musk, the work of Neuralink is not about just brain and spinal injury treatment. It is going to be the very first step towards a new era. The longer term goal is human AI symbiosis, something that he considers species level important. The real challenge will be to build a system that can interpret or translate the signals from the brain with much higher precision. And if it comes to it, humans might be able to communicate with computers and other electronic devices in a way that is still hard to imagine today. Imagine if Stephen Hawking could talk fast enough to beat the speed of the typist or auctioneer. That is what we are aiming at, said Musk. Musk, just like him, has also proposed that the end purpose is not to help you get your food faster or to reply on Twitter quicker, but to prevent human issues that may come from artificial intelligence, which as many experts have said, could be the biggest threat to our existence. By merging human and computer intelligence, we will become less likely isolated from the rest of humankind. It is far too early to tell as we are far behind this becoming a commercial product with lots of testing ahead. Nonetheless, Musk has announced that he wants to make the technology available for commercial use. So, um, but, but, but ultimately the idea would be to achieve a symbiosis between our biological mind and our kind of digital mind.